Hi everyone, good afternoon. This is Pastor Joey Fortaleza from Converse Church. Welcome to this online Sunday service today. So may the Lord bless you as we as we um, tackle no, today's topic. So welcome home um, in this church, uh, this Converse Church. Welcome and our mission is to, to bring people to God and help them to become true disciples of Jesus Christ, right? So maybe you are wondering why why Converse Church, no, yung pangalan ng church natin. Sa mga first time especially you know so conquest church is is about conquering territories no conquering territories for the lord especially yung heart ng people okay we conquer the heart of people and bring them closer to the lord okay so i'm the one pastoring this church together with my my wife jay Ann, no so welcome home and enjoy enjoy the rest of of this um sunday service Right? So our topic for today is about the series collection continuation of the lost and found. Right? So in the last two weeks, we have tackling about um, the lost that has been found, the prodigal son. And of course, there are also um, the lost um, coin, the lost, um, ano, no? and dami, and dami lost and found. But, but today, we're going to be tackling a different um, topic. It's now lost and found, part three, right? Are you ready? No. So our subtopic is about Jesus heals ten men with leprosy. You can find no this passage in in Luke chapter seventeen, right? In it started in verse eleven. Okay. So welcome everyone. And before we totally start, of course, let's let's uh, let's say to the Lord a simple prayer right now. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to be with you again today. What an awesome day with you, Lord God. We pray, Lord, that, that you're going to give us revelation in our minds, in our hearts. That's going to heal us, Lord God, and make us, Lord, and found in your presence. Lord, make us understand what they want us, Lord God, to hear. What you want us, Lord God, to do. What you want us, Lord God, accomplish in this life. Lord, maraming salamat na may makusap ka sa aming lahat, Lord God, sa isip namin, sa puso namin, sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and amen. For those who came here for the first time, by the way, welcome again. No, and um, after the Sunday service, no, you can find um, our uh, you. YouTube channel. You also you can find our social media. So you yung Facebook natin live din tayo right now sa Facebook and of course in in Instagram. Okay, you can PM those channels para mama makatend ka na ating mga natawag na conquest cruise world studies or what we call Bible studies. Right. So let's start. No, let's start this topic. No, let's go to Luke chapter seventeen, verse eleven. No. Sabi sa verse 11, Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. Verse 12, As he was going to a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance. In verse 13, And called out in a loud voice, Sabi doon, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. So, in this scenario, as Jesus was you no know, was walking to to between Samaria and Galilee, you no, know, yung nagsimula na siya ng mission niya, sharing the gospel, of course, healing the sick, no. So, ito may mga sampung lep- lepers, no. Ito yung mga uh, may leprosy, may ketong, right? And and to give you a background of of ketong, it's like today, it's like um, cancer, no. Yung matinding sakit, matinding sakit sa panahon nila before. Okay, pag may ketong ka, kinadidirian ka, of course, kasi nga, no, nalubuksaw yung katawan mo, may mga galis, right? So, ayun nga, they are shouting, sampu sila, they are shouting. Sabi nila, Lord, or Jesus, Master, no? They they recognize the, the Lordship of the Lord. No? Have pity on, pity on us, kat- katawaan nyo kami. Right? So, basically, their prayer is really, you know, accurate, no? Kaawaan mo kami. Hindi nila pinag-pray na, Lord, heal us, no? Hindi, no? Kaawaan mo kami, Panginoon. Kung may awa ang Panginoon, may awa kayo, Panginoon, pagkagalingin nyo kami. 
right? So in the next slide, we can see there, no? People need mercy more than healing, correct? So people, more than healing, they need mercy. They, they, we need the forgiveness of the Lord more than healing our physical diseases. Of course, no, um, kailangan natin gumaling sa mga sakit natin, but, but, but more importantly, no, yung healing ng ating soul. Amen? So let's go, let's continue in verse um, 14. Okay? When he saw them, he said, Go show yourself to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. Pag-iagusan ng, ng Panginoong sa Kristo, punta kayo sa mga pare, no? Show yourself. Right? In verse 15, one of them, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. No? You can see there, the loud voice is underlined in, uh, no? Um, italicized, no? That talagang binibigyan natin ng emphasis, no? Kanina, nung gusto nilang gumaling, no? They were also shouting in a loud voice. And right now, gumaling na sila. Apparently, yung sham, naalimot, no? Yung isa lang yung nag-praise kay Lord in a loud voice. In verse 16, He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. And that is one of the, no, one of the uh, classic, ano, ng Bible. Dinedefine niya yung, ano, eh, yung, yung tao, no? He was a Samaritan. Have you ever remember, no, the Good Samaritan story, um, the Samaritan woman, and this guy, a leprous guy, no, a Samaritan as well? And, and what is that? No, bakit Samaritan? Basta sinasabi, he is a Samaritan. It, it, it is, it is, ano, no, it is being defined here na, um, he is not one of the chosen people of Israel, of God. So, yung sabihin, dayo, foreigner, hindi taga doon. At yung mismo mga taga doon, maybe nine of them, the nine of them, they were not praising God after they got healed. No? Do you know a person, or maybe, no, for, of course, of course, you know, uh, maybe your, yourself na lang sa sarili natin, no? Have you ever prayed for something to the Lord and then the Lord answers and then you didn't thank Him, hindi ka na nag, hindi ka na nag, you know, you, you, you don't, you, you did not went back or hindi ka na bumalik sa Panginoon kasi nga, because you have your own no? um, perspective in life maybe na okay na, magaling na ako, right? Nung may kailangan, lapit kay Lord, nung wala na kailangan, Amen? So, in the next verse, in verse 17, nagta ka si Jesus, no? Sabi, sabi niya, Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Hindi ba? Kasi, no, sampu sila eh. And Jesus is God. And Jesus is powerful. Right? Alam natin, no, in, in, in the last few chapters, and of course, in the last few books, no, Matthew, Mark, no? Ang dami ng pinagaling ng Panginoon doon, and, no? Ang dami na nangyari, kaya niya, magpa, kaya niya maghimala. Ang nagtataka si Jesus, sabi niya, we're not all ten cleans. Where are the other nine? Right? Parang ganito, no? nag-share ka ng one verse evangelism on a group of people and, no? Kukunti lang yung umatin sa Bible studies. And wondering why. No? Wondering why. Where really Jesus no, spoke to all of them. Right? Or, hindi, hindi nag-speak sa lahat because sarado yung puso. Anyways, no, sabi dito ng, ng Panginoon, nasan yung siya mo? That's what's good with Jesus. No, hinahanap niya yung nawawala. Hinahanap niya yung absent. No, kapag hinahanap ka ng leader mo sa Bible studies, na absent ka, kung pasalamat mo yun, right? He loves you. She loves you. No? And in, in, in verse 18, sabi dyan, Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Sabi ng Lord, wala bang gusto magpasalamat sa Panginoon kundi itong dayo na to. Supposedly, hindi mo asahan yung dayo na, no, these people know Jesus because they were in the place where Jesus were. 
was born. But apparently, yung, yung, yung hindi taga doon, no? siya pa yung appreciate In verse 19, then he said to him, rise and go, your faith has made you well. And that's the end of the passage. And let's understand here no, the attitude of the Samaritan. Okay, or the attitude of the Samaritan. Number one, he knows he's healed. Number two, he came back to God. Number three, he praised God loudly. Number four, he is extremely faithful. And number five, he has great faith. Let's go to the first one. Let's talk about healing. No? It says in John chapter 8, verse 30, it says in NIV, no? Sabi dyan, if the sun sets you free, you will be free. Indeed. Amen? So kapag kapinalaya tayo ng Panginoon, sa sakit, no? sa kasalanan, okay, we are free indeed. Amen? No, wala na tala. Yung symptoms may be there. Kung may sakit ka, the symptoms may be there, but you are healed. Amen? How many of you have diseases in the house, no? kung nasa bahay ka, or someone in your in your family, no? merong sakit, no? pray for that person, that person gets healed. Right now, in Jesus' name, we cast out diseases. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Okay? So, sabi dun, no? Malaya ka na talaga. Healed ka na talaga. Amen? So, parang yung leper kanina, no? Nung, nung, nung nakita niya na magaling na siya, oh, I'm really healed. I'm gonna be shown to Jesus that I am healed. Of course, Jesus knows. He is God. Alam niya na, na healed na. Right? But of course, no? But kailangan i-show nung, nung, nung tao, nung leper, nagmaling na siya. Right? So let's go. In number two, no? Repentance. Let's talk, let's talk about repentance. In, in Acts chapter 3, verse 19, it says there, Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. That times of refreshing may come from the Lord. So, one of the characteristics of people who are really repentant, no? In their old life of sin, they are fresh. They look fresh. They look right? They have peace, they have joy, they have they have love, they are happy, they are they are very, very joyful people, they are energetic, no? Diba kapag ka ang isang tao, no? Naranasan naman natin lahat to, no? We have we have um a sinful life and and uh, yung yung buhay natin hindi pa nakasuko talaga sa Panginoon, no? Uh, mabigat, right? Um, wala namang ano, wala namang dapat ikatakot, naratakot tayo, nahihiya ka kahit wala naman nakakalam ng ginawa mo, no? After mong gawin, nagsisisi ka, no? Right? That is, no, yun yung pakiramdam na, and, 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 and you don't have the appetite to, to go to Bible studies, you don't have the appetite to, to read God's Word, um, you feel dirty, you feel hindi ka, no? You feel na hindi ka worthy na umatid ng Bible studies, hindi ka worthy na na na, na, na magdili ng Bible study, hindi ka worthy na umatid ng Sunday service kasi piling mo hindi ka naman nagbabago kasi Paul Old yung kasan na ginagawa mo. Kasi nga, that's how it feels to be no, no, a person who don't repent or a person who, who really did not repent. Okay? Sabi dyan, repent then and turn to God, no? Ang sabi sa ano no sa verse kanina no let's look at it no after yung nakita na healed siya he came back bumalik sa Panginoon so it says here na brothers and sisters friends no let, let's go back to the Lord let's go back to God kailangan natin ng Panginoon sa buhay natin we cannot we cannot fake our Christian life no we cannot fake no our Christian life. Yung, yung aaten lang tayo and then in, 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 in our personal time, we don't have prayer, we don't have devotion, we're dwelling with with old sin, repeated sin, no? Really? Pag hindi ka nag-repeat, talaga mabigat yan. Okay lang sa'yo umabot Sunday service, okay lang hindi umabot sa'yo ng Bible studies. Why? It's because you're not okay. It's because you're not okay. Because if you are okay, even if you are busy, and by the way, no, 
I'm telling a person that you are busy means that you are not giving priority to that person. If you say that you are too busy doing things, like, of course, you are. we are all busy on our, on our own definition of busyness. Pero syempre, no? Um, ang pinaka masakit na matatanggap natin na dahilan sa isang tao yung sabihin niyang busy ako. Sa trabaho ko ni anak ko, bata pa, 2 years old. She's 2 years old right now. Pag, I cannot say that I'm busy. She will not understand as young as she is. Pero pag sinabi mo sa isang adult na busy ako, that means, you know, you're not my priority. Um, what you're telling me is not important to me. Because I'm busy. It's not that, no, um, you are not really busy, but of course, you know, people give attention and time and priority to those things that they think um, is really worth their time, their time. Their time. Okay? Let's go back, no? Sa repentance, no? Kailangan, mga kapatid, let's repent our sins. Hold your heart right now and say, Lord, forgive me for all of my sins. Patabaran mo po, Lord God. Clean me. And help me, Lord God, to go back to you. Return away from all of these sins. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. How many of you, you feel right now, you feel right now empowered and free? Right? Okay. Number three, praise and worship. How many of you kanina sa praise and worship natin, no? Ever be. No? And that's one of my favorite worship songs right now, the ever be, no? Ever be your praise, be, ever be on my lips. Let's sing that again after this Sunday service, okay? In Psalms chapter 52, verse 9. Well, actually, when I was doing this topic, no, there is a verse in Psalms that, I don't know, your praise ever be on my lips. But I I did not include it here because the name praise and worship natin kanina. Okay, yung worship song natin. But let's go, no? Psalms 52, verse 9. It says here, For what you have done, I will always praise you. This was David talking to the Lord. No? in the presence of your faithful people. And I will hope in your name, for your name is good. Can you say amen to that? Sabi dyan, no? For what you have done, I will always praise you in the presence of your faithful people. Yung praise and worship, no? Um, sabi ng David dito, no? Sa, laha, sa harap ng mga tao, mo, I will praise you, Lord God. So that people will see, you know, how great you are in my life. Don't you know that praise and worship is powerful? And you, and most of us, no, maybe you are not maximizing the power of praise and worship. When you praise and worship, legions of angels are surrounded, you no, know, surrounding, surrounding you, no. I have I have watched a documentary of the priest of Satan, no, si former priest of Satan, si ano si si John Ramirez. Okay? So sabi niya, no, nagpe-pray sila sa mga tao na magkasakit, magka-cancer, no, kaya-kaya nilang talunin yung mga, kaya-kaya nilang lagyan ng sakit, mamatay ka agad, no, yung mga hindi believers, eh, yung mga non-believers, yung mga hindi Christian. And then yung mga Christian na nagpe-pray sa worship, hindi nila magalaw. Imagine, the power of Satan can't overcome, no, those people who are worshiping the Lord. Because, no? They have angels around them. And angels are not the cute one that, no? Yung Cupid angel in Valentine's. My goodness. Angels are, no? In the Old Testament, if you will see, no? The, def- the definition of an angel, it's like a warrior. No? A warrior, a big guy. Okay? So let's praise the Lord always. Good day, praise the Lord. Bad day, praise the Lord. Amen. Kasi yung bad day, you know, it's, it's just a bad day. Or maybe just a bad uh, moment. Just a moment. Okay? And you are making your whole day bad. Right? Praise God. Up and down, praise God. Happy or not, praise God. Well-fed or hungry, praise the Lord. Right? We are, we, 
no no money with money praise god amen online offline for those of you who are watching this maybe you maybe you are not giving so much priority in your praise and worship time to the lord when was the last time you really sing a song to god with your hands held high with your knees on the ground when was the last time maybe it's been a long time maybe it's time to to really you know to really start that again that habit that longing that passion that energy to praise and worship the lord of the lord the king of kings amen kailan ko muna worship matagal na bakit right can you go back and worship again the lord amen worship na rin ang panginoon no and number four thanksgiving Sabi dyan sa Psalm 105 verse 1, Give praise to the Lord. Proclaim His name. Make note among the nations what He has done. Ano may sabihin ni David dito, ni King David? No? Give praise to the Lord and proclaim His name. There are people broken right now like you and me in the past. Let's make known among the nation what He has done. No? You know what? Your testimony in your life, yung mga overcoming ng problems mo, kung hindi mo i-share sa iba yan, it will not praise the name of God. That's why, you know, that's why we're gonna be shooting a testimony for for a person. Okay? If you're watching this, you know who you are. <laughs> Prepare. Okay? We're gonna be shooting a testimony of someone. Okay? The Lord is not done with him yet, but I know, but I know, no? uh, the big one of the biggest um, challenge in his life and sa wife ng ano niya, no? sa, 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 sa life ng kanyang asawa will be done this month. Alright? So, Thanksgiving, let's give, let's always give thanks to the Lord. Ang will ng Panginoon to for us to give things in every circumstances. It's in set, set of Thessalonians 5.18. In every circumstances, give thanks. Right? Ulam mo masarap, give thanks. Ulam mo masarap, give thanks. Kasi walang masarap sa hindi masarap. May importante, nagpapasalamat ka. Alam mo bakit hindi masarap yung, yung iba na kinakain natin? Kasi ito nagpapasalamat eh. Lahat yan masarap. Right? Lahat yan maganda. Lahat yan may value. Right? The value of a thing does not define, no, hindi siya na-define doon sa price tag. Na-define siya kung gaano ka-thankful yung taong nakakuha. Amen? The same as our life as believers. Your value when you, when you don't have God in your life, of course, no? So we say that it's okay to have no having one relationship to another okay naghahanap ng ng boyfriend ng girlfriend palagi hindi maka hindi maka stay ng single with 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 God no kailangan marutuan mo muna eh singleness with the Lord okay so hindi ganun ganun, ganun ka hindi halaga kapag hindi mo pa tinatanggap talaga ang Panginoon sa Kristo pero pag ang Panginoon Jesus Kristo na sa buhay mo na tinanggap mo na siya bilang Panginoon at tagapagligtas Hindi lang tagapagligtas, alright? Panginoon din. Masusundin natin sa buhay kristyano natin. Mahalaga na sa'yo dapat yung buhay mo na yan. Amen? Hindi mo na basta-basta yung i-open kung kanin-kanino. Correct? Open for all, open for any relationship, anyone. Kasi nga, no? You're finding one. Why? Right? Open for any vices again sa mga bisyo, sa secret sinan. No! Right? Because you have the value. You know the value of your life? The death of the God of the universe. Amen? Do, do, do you get that? Or maybe you've missed that. Let's repeat again, no? Maybe you've missed that. The value of your life is the life of the God of the universe. Amen? So give thanks to God. 
in every circumstances. And last, no, but not the least, number five, faithful. The Samaritan was faithful. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, what's faith? No? Um, by the way, I, I'm just going to be uh, defining no, yung, yung number five. Ano wrong spelling si Pastor Joe? Yung double, double L daw yung faithful. Hindi faithful na uh, what's in Tagalog yung faithful. Uh, what's that in Tagalog? Um, hindi naglolo ko. Basta faithful. Alam mo natin yun, no? faithful na single L. Itong double, double L na to, it's faithful. Full of faith. Right? So gusto ko lang kasi one word kaya faithful. No? Hindi siya full of faith. Okay? Hebrews 11 verse 1, it says there, Now faith is the confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Really? No? Faith? How can you become confident about not having how can you become assured without seeing it? Paano, ma- paano ka magiging no, no? How can you claim someone, uh, not someone, something, okay? If you don't see it. Ang faith kasi, hindi sabihin dito, nak- nakikita mo na kahit wala pa dyan. Yung pinagpipray mo na, na no? dream house, dream car, okay, business, or promotion, no? Act as if you have it already because that's yours. Amen? Yung pinag-pray mong tao, koreano, <laughs> right? So, um, iba yun. No? That's a joke. Okay? Assurance of, of what we do not see. Dapat wala pa. Nakikita mo na. Dapat wala pa. Lord, thank you. no? Amen? Well, by the way, of course, you pray for your heart that 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 um, what you're praying for is is God wants you to have. Amen. Okay, faithful. Sabi sa ano no sa sa last verse. Sabi ni Lord in verse 19, no? Luke 17:19 says there, sabi ni Jesus Christ, then he said to him, "Rise and go. Your faith has made you well." I mean, nagpagaling dun sa leper. Leper number one or maybe number ten. No? Whoever that is. Kung nasa man sa number na yun, no? Beginning, middle, or, or last. Wala naman silang names, eh. Your faith has, has made you well. Yan yung sinasabi palagi ni Jesus Christ sa mga taong napapagaling niya, no? Your faith has healed you. Ang magpapagaling pala sa atin, ang mag-heal pala sa atin yung faith natin sa Panginoon. Dahil kapag wala tayong faith, Okay. Sabi sa Hebrews 11 verse 6, it is impossible to please God. Kung nananalakin ka na rin lang, lagyan mo na ng faith, maniwala ka na na ma-receive mo yan or sa'yo na yan. I-claim mo na. Right? Why? Kasi sayang naman. No, pagod mo sa panalangin, well, hindi ko wala ka na mag-faith. No, mawala ng lahat, huwag ka lang mawala ng faith. Amen? But that's not our subject or our topic for today. Our topic is the attitude when we are found by the Lord. Ano ba yung response dapat natin? Amen? Are we just gonna go away? Like yung, yung nine? Or isa tayo dun sa iisang bumalik? Amen? So let's go to, to this slide. No? Sabi yan, it is, is it possible that the nine lepers were not really healed? Di ba nagtanong si Jesus? Pinagaling ko sa po, nasa yung siyam? Hindi ba gumaling yung siyam? Nagtataka siya eh. eh. dapat, no? Si Lord, Lord siya, right? Dapat alam niya yun, right? But why is he asking? Okay, maybe to give emphasis on, on, on people who are not thankful. Or maybe, I'm, I really, I'm really not sure what happened to those people, yung siyam na lepers, kung gumaling mo sila o hindi. But this is my, my ano, no? Uh, my point in, in, in the end. Maybe hindi sila gumaling, kaya hindi, kaya hindi sila gumaling. Bakit? Kasi walang faith. Faith's making a person well. Faith's making a person repent. Faith's making a person to decide stopping what's stopping him no? in going to God. Deciding 
will not go back to old nature of sinful life. Or sabi dyan, or maybe healed physically but not healed in their hearts. Nakareceive naman talaga ng healing. Tilanggap naman sila. Tilanggap naman talaga si Lord. Yung umiyak pa eh. But outside, inside, hindi na bago ang bumalik sa dati. Amen. So sabi nga sa Isaiah, no? sabi ng Lord, break your heart, not your garments. Kasi mo araw, when when you feel bad, or maybe may bad news, or maybe, no, may nangyari hindi maganda, you tear your robe. They tear their robes. Okay, pinukulit lang yung namit nila to, 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 ano, no, to, uh, to demonstrate how broken they were, or how, how bad the situation is, or maybe, uh, yung bad news na nangyari, gano'n sila, ano yung nararamdaman nila. And kapag ka yung si Lord, no, um, dinanggap, pinupuhit yung garment. Pero ayaw ng Lord na punit natin yung garment natin. Ayaw ng Lord yung panglabas lang, yung binago natin, pero hindi yung pangloob. Ang gusto ng Lord, pati yung heart. Amen. Ano yung heart ng siya? Hindi sila grateful. Hindi sila bumalik. Kasi kung ako, for example, I'm one of the nine, and because of my my unbe- unbelief yet, hindi ako gumaling. I will go back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Like, Lord Jesus, um, hindi po ako gumaling. Can you pray to me again? This time, I will believe. This time, I will claim my healing. The problem with the nine, they, they didn't came back. Why? Maybe because they are really healed. They were really healed. And, and, and their hearts are the same. Hindi na bagay ang puso. So baguhin natin no, ating mga puso. No? Ay allow natin ang Panginoon na baguhin ang ating puso because we're gonna change our hearts on our own. Okay? In, the Hebrews, in Hebrews chapter 3 verse 19, no, ito na yun. Mag-end na tayo. So we see that ha, so, so we see that they were not allowed to enter and have God's rest because they did not believe. Hindi kasi sila naniwala. No? Alam mo bakit hindi ko magaling? Ginaayos yan because you don't believe. Amen? You don't believe to the Lord. Believe in the Lord. No? And last verse before we end, in Isaiah chapter 12, verse 4 to 5, Isaiah 12, 4 to 5, it says there, in that day, no, when you receive the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, no, change na, na, change na yung buhay mo. Nagkaroon ka ng bagong perspective sa buhay. You know your purpose already. You are attending Bible studies. You are attending church. You are doing your devotion and prayer and fasting. And you are doing the 19th challenge, by the way, at the end of this month, matapos na tayo. Praise the Lord. Sabi sa Isaiah, no? in that day you will say, give praise to the Lord, give praise to the Lord. Proclaim His name. Make known among the nations what He has done. Make known. Let's make, let's make Jesus known. Amen? And proclaim that His name is exalted. Sing to the Lord for He has done glorious things. Let this be known to all the world. Conquest Church, and by the way, no? Conquest Church first name is Conquest Church, Conquest for Jesus International Ministries. Because you know, we we wanted to conquer. Hindi lang sa Pilipinas, of course, worldwide. Pwede ka nga mag-invite worldwide, eh. right? Because we have Zoom Live, we have Facebook Live, and we have YouTube recordings as well. Let let Jesus, what He has done in our life, you know, be known to everyone. A testimony to all how good God is in our life. We are, no, hindi lang tayo na save, right? We are also God's workmanship, no, to do good works in this world. Amen. So let's continue to share the word of God to others. Let's continue to invite in our Bible studies in our Sunday service. Amen. So, do not time maki end, no? I would like you to. To pray with me together right now. Let's pray together. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you for this opportunity, Lord God. To receive Panginoon healing every disease, Lord God, that, that that our family have or maybe us, Panginoon. 
magalingin yung kape. Right now, ilagay mo kung saan ka man. May, may karamdaman ka sa part ng katawan mo. Place your right hand to that, to that uh, area. Sa ulo man yan, sa katawan man, any part of your, your, your body. And say this prayer, Lord, thank you for the healing right now. Thank you that I am healed 100%. That I am healthy, that I am strong, that I am complete. Thank you, Lord, for the healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ipag pray natin yung yung ano mo to yung family member mo, or friend mo, kung sino man yan. Pag ito may pangalan, Lord, heal that person in Jesus' name. We have prayed the blood of Jesus Christ so that bad right now of our friend, our relatives, our parents, baby, our siblings, baby, Lord, pagalingin nyo sila. Kami kay Pigan. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, we claim your healing in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, thank you. Maraming salamat. And Lord, pagalingin niyo kami sa puso namin. Place your right hand to your heart right now and say this prayer. Lord, thank you so much that now I'm near you, that I know you love me, that you saved me. At binigisan niyo kami ng bagong buhay, Lord God, that we have you our Lord, that you are our Savior, that we have relationship together. And thank you, Lord God, for Conquest Church, for the Conquest family, for our leaders, and of course, our the crews na kasama namin pa kayo sa Bible studies. Maraming salamat sa mga buhay nila. May you bless them all. May we grow together in our in our relationship with you. And may we grow together, Lord God, in multiplication na dumami pa kayo sa mga atin at makulik sa amin not because you wanted numbers, Lord, but because you are with us that they see Jesus in every Sunday service and Bible studies. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for the anointing. Thank you, Lord God, for for, for the cleansing and purification of our life. Thank you, Lord God, for our relationship. Thank you, Lord God, for this every single day opportunity to share it with the world. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. If you are a first timer right now, let's pray together. Let, let's pray this simple prayer. Follow after me, please. Okay. Heavenly Father, I confess that I have sinned. I don't, I don't deserve to be with you in heaven. Please forgive me. Come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. And help me to live for you from now on. Now I accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and personal Savior. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. And for accepting the Lord Jesus Christ, congratulations. You are now, your name is written in the book of life in heaven, and your name, no, ikaw, no, nasa langit na yung pangalan mo, you are saved. And of course, no, let's continue to, to help you grow. Attend Bible studies and, and attend the next week's Sunday service. Right? Okay. So thanks for joining everyone. See you in the, in our word studies this week. And of course, for those people na continuously supporting this ministry. And if you want to support this ministry as well, this is our um, bank details. No? Um, ito yung mga giving channels natin. We have several banks there in Gcash. Thank you for those people who are continuously helping this ministry grow. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord empower you. May the Lord anoint you. May the Lord continuously work in your life. Alright? So let's go to um, the worship. No, uh, Let's worship the Lord together. God bless you and peace be with you. See you next week.